Hey there, I'm Peter Michaels, Friday Crafternoons at Bo's Bar and Grill once again, and very pleased to be joined by Hans and uh, Todd from Blind Man Brewery in Lacombe. How are you guys doing today? We are doing awesome. Thank you for having us. So we're going to try uh, a little bit of wee, a wee heavy is what we're going for. And this one's got a really interesting start, especially home brewers probably want to make the jump just like you guys did, right? And, and get into doing some big batch brews. You guys gave some home brewers a chance with this one. Yeah, this was pretty cool. Uh, last year, we... Uh, one of our guys had the idea to reach out to the Alberta Homebrewers Exchange Group, and uh, they do an advent calendar where all 24 participants brew one beer, and then when it's ready, they package it, and they group all these beers together at one staging location and split it all up so they all get 24 beers each. We thought, hey, maybe let's try to get them to do 25, and we will do a bit of a judging competition and the winner of what we choose will will get to uh, do do a production batch at Blind Man Brewing. So we did our, our judging, we did our competition and we actually chose two people, two, two home brewers and uh, we did small test batch brews for the tap room at yeah. Lacombe in our, in, our, in our tap room and we let the customers at the tap room decide what the winner should be and actually it was tied there as well. <laughs> so uh, Brendan, who's one of our brewers, he we gave him the, the 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 decision to make, and we chose to do the Wee Heavy. Okay, so Todd, what uh, what are we going to expect out of the Wee Heavy? Well, the Wee Heavy is a really cool old style. It's a Scottish style of beer. Um, it's malt forward, and the reason that it's malt forward is because in that time in the 1800s when they were doing Wee Heavy, um, hops were obviously really hard to get to Scotland. <laughs> And so it's not a hop-forward beer, like which we're usually known for, a blind man. This is a really a malt-forward beer. Uh, you're going to get little hints of like coffee, a uh, little bit of toffee, a little bit of caramel, like burnt sugar taste in it. But it's a dark beer, as you can see of the beer in front it's of us. Beautiful color. Uh, which I've heard you're a fan of. Is I definitely the, am. The, the, yes, the dark you did your beers. homework. <laughs> I did my homework, exactly. So, uh, yeah, I think the Wee Heavy is a cool style. We haven't done or dabbled in that. And like I said, with Hans the same with the, the home brewer, it's kind of cool to introduce the style and take it and run with it and go with the Wee Heavy for a change. All right, I am very excited to uh, uh, give it a try. It, it was aged. It was aged in uh, bourbon barrels for three months to give it a little bit of that oaky uh, flavor, which we'll we'll find out as well. Beautiful. All right. Cheers, guys. Cheers. 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 That beautiful aroma hits you right off the get go, and there's all oh, that. The bourbon gets you right towards the end. You can definitely tell it's barrel aged. And that that's is amazing. That's what that we're kind of like fond of is the barrel aged stuff. It's definitely a fun thing to do. So, yeah. That's and, and honestly, it gives you like just a uh, a very nice warm, you know, a good a good, a good winter beer. It gives you kind of that warmth. That sweetness helps. Sweetness well. in there as well with the caramel in behind it. Yeah. So, and do we give a shout out to the uh, home brewer then? Eric Krasinski <laughs> out of Calgary. Uh, he he did the he helped us with this batch and uh, he was the initial uh, cog in this whole deal. So congr congrats, Eric, and and thanks for helping us make this beer. Now I'm trying to think as well. This, so this is the beer that's going to be used in the Celebrity Chicken Chef uh, coming up on January 28th at Bodes. It's a fundraiser for the Alberta Diabetes Foundation, uh, and so one of the chefs is going to be tasked with making a chicken dish to go with this specific beer. Is that right? Yes. No, for sure. And. Uh, my, my speciality is craft dinner, so I'm looking forward to the, <laughs> the chef coming up with a cool pairing for this. Um, generally, a darker beer like this, you would think of things like a steak or sure. that kind of stuff to go with it, but uh, some sort of glazed chicken with some sort of like sauce with it would go great with it. But I'm excited to see what they come up with. That's, I think that's we're on the, the same. Th I also am not the most culinary guy in the world, but KD. I think a glazed, <laughs> some, um, some sort of glaze to go along with that I think might be pretty good. No, for sure. I think I'm excited to see what they come up with. It'll be, it'll be cool. Okay, we're going to find out on January 28th, Celebrity Chicken and Chef, Blind Man Brewing. Uh, a big thanks for you guys for jumping on board and uh, pairing up with that. And tickets are available now. You can get the ticket links at 1067thedrive.fm.